Welcome back. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the strangest shoebox I've ever received. It is uh, a pair of shoes that I bought. Uh, they're a French maker, uh, but I found them at a department store in the U.S., uh, Bergdorf Goodman. Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like they came in an original box, and I didn't get a discount on them, so I'm a little concerned about that. But um, hopefully the shoes inside are okay. So just taking a look at it together and here we go so these are again strange box um but it looks like they're shoe bags um and they're not branded which is odd but fine right i, I have a lot of shoe bags uh but you know this is my first foray into this brand and the brand itself is corte all right now these shoes retail at 1700 bucks, so you would expect a better presentation than this, wouldn't you? So, um, here they are. They have colored laces. Now, I don't know why, but the ones with the colored laces on this model were $200 less than the ones with the brown laces. And, of course, they come with the extra laces, so I'm not sure what the difference is. Um, it's also weird they're laced upside down. Um, which, which is odd. Um, so I'm not sure why they did that. Uh, the trees themselves are French, uh, are French oak, which is different. I've never had French oak trees. Now this is a shoe that's 100% handmade in France. Okay, sourced from all French material. So French leather on the soles, French, uh, evidently French rubber. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Um, French leather, and of course, 100% handmade in their workshops in Paris. This is the Corte Arca, and very well constructed, uh, as you would expect, right? I mean, at this level of shoe, they better be perfect in every way possible. Um, and just uh, we'll focus there. Um, there's some nice fudging all the way around. And of course the heel stack is also nicely done. So the shoes themselves look fine, right? Um, it's the only question that I have is why Bergdorf Goodman would take a pair of shoes that are worth quite so much money and completely destroy the presentation on them. So that's a little bit of a mystery to me. So anywho, um, I will, uh, I'll contact them. I'll see what, uh, what they have to say and go from there. So thank you very much for watching. We'll uh, report on these shoes here shortly. Welcome back. Uh, so I reached out to uh, Bergdorf Goodman and they did a great job of uh, responding to my needs. Um, they apologize that they don't have the box that they can send me, but they did issue me a credit to uh, make up for it. So uh, all said and done, I mean, I'm, I'm satisfied with the service. I'm going to miss not having a box. As you can see, I have a few, but uh, that, you know, it's not the end of the world and I'm very happy with the shoes. I'm wearing them now and uh, they, feel, uh, they feel fine. So the one thing to keep in mind when you're working, when you're wearing a, a, a two eyelet derby is that the last is extremely important and understanding sizing is really important when you're looking at them. These were 11 Ds and I went in and I looked at um, the, the way that the sizing was done and 11 D is a narrow um, in Corthe sizing. Corthe also does not use UK sizing. They use US sizing. Well, it's their Corthe sizing, but it is essentially US sizing. Uh, but a D is narrow. And so since I'm normally a, a 10 and a half regular 
um, I, I went with the, and, and I wear an 11 in many, um, I went with the 11D, even though I knew that it was going to be a little bit on the narrow side, um, because I figured that it was, it was going to be okay, because this is a shoe with effectively no lacing. The, the, the vamp is very, very high on the foot on this, and, and it just goes right up to it. So when you see pictures on my Instagram uh, next week where I'm wearing these, um, know that you know, there's going to be a little bit of wrinkling, and that's okay because the way that it fits, the, the, the shoe, it's basically like a loafer that has a strap okay, that you tie. So um, something to keep in mind. It, it wears a lot like a monk strap. So, I mean, it's, and, and it's fine. I feel really, really good in it. And I love the fact that it's got such a huge vamp, right? I mean, that's why you buy a shoe like this. Um, and the, um, you know, it has a, a chisel last, so it's narrower at front um, and it works out really, really well. So I feel good about the way that it fits. It, it feels good. Um, hopefully it'll look good after wearing it for a couple of days, but um, you know, you guys be the judge and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.